Hello and welcome one and all to Grudge Match, the show where we take our favorite characters from the two big comic companies and pit them against one another in one-on-one -on -one competition to find out who would win and who comes up short. Today's matchup is one that is not quite an obvious pairing on first glance, but a deeper look reveals some interesting similarities between the characters. From DC, the new god and escapist extraordinaire, Mr. Miracle, and from Marvel, X-Force's probability-manipulating mutant mercenary, Domino. Now, both of these characters come from fairly unfortunate origins, but have grown to use their skills, speed, agility, and a quick wit to extricate themselves from virtually any dangerous situation, and have become long-standing and fan-favorite characters among their respective universes. Taking a look at Mr. Miracle first, he is one of the New Gods, originally from New Genesis, a world that is the polar opposite of Apocalypse, the dark world ruled by Darkseid. His real name is Scott Free, who was created in 1971. He was the son of the ruler of New Genesis, High Father, and when New Genesis and Apocalypse forge an uneasy diplomatic truce with one another, the two rulers exchanged children as a show of diplomatic unity. And so, New Genesis adopted Darkseid's son, who would go on to become Orion, and Scott Free Mr. Miracle was then given to Darkseid. Now, he was raised by Granny Goodness in the torture chambers and warrior training grounds of Apocalypse, so very, very rough and brutal conditions, and at a young age, he discovered he had a certain knack for escaping from virtually any situation imaginable. Despite Granny Goodness's attempts and Darkseid's attempts to break Scott Free of his innocence and goodness, he retained all of his good qualities, eventually escaped from Darkseid and from Apocalypse, and came to Earth in the company of his wife and constant companion, Big Barda. Now, Mr. Miracle's primary ability is his escapology, his ability to seemingly be able to get himself out of virtually any situation, and not just actual traps and confinement, but also out of any dangerous situation, so any kind of enemy of almost any power level, he can find a way around, he can dodge, he can get out of the way of their powers, and extricate himself from any situation. Now, like all the new gods, he has superhuman abilities, including a certain degree of superhuman strength, increased speed and reflexes, which serve him very well in his career as an escape artist. He has a superhuman stamina, more so than most of the new gods, which allows him to go at full capacity for up to two days before he needs to rest. And he has a lot of super technology that he has stolen from Apocalypse and brought with him to Earth. This includes things like the famed Mother Box, which allows for teleportation, portal generation, transmutation, and a variety of other abilities. His aero discs that extend from his boots and allow him to fly at very fast speeds, and a lot of escapist tools that are very high-tech in nature. Additionally, Mr. Miracle, while he does happen to be a pacifist, and he doesn't ever initiate violence against others, that doesn't mean he can't respond in kind. He often finds himself in violent situations, and he has developed very advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Usually, when he finds himself in a situation that calls for violence, he relies on his wife, Big Barda, to do the lion's share of the violence, because that's her strong point. But since grudge matches are one-on-one, -on -one, she's not going to be able to help him in this fight. That doesn't mean he can't use his own hand-to-hand -hand combat skills in a fight himself. Domino, from the Marvel Universe, created in 1991. Her real name is Nina Thurman. She was actually created by a program that was attempting to create super soldiers, so she was bred rather than actually having a normal childhood. But she was deemed a failure as a super soldier, even though she was the only one to survive the program, she wasn't everything that her creators had hoped for. So she had a fairly difficult childhood, much like Scott Free did, in being trained to be a perfect soldier, but eventually getting away from that group and going out on her own, becoming a mercenary for hire. 
She is a mutant, and she has the mutant power to alter probabilities, or basically what's known as luck powers. These are always on, she doesn't have to focus them, they work automatically, and how they work is they manipulate probability fields to allow things to just always seem to go her way. If she's being shot at, just a hail of gunfire from multiple assailants, she will just be able to dodge in just the perfect way to avoid every bullet. If she's trying to defuse a bomb and she has to cut one out of five wires, one will defuse it, cutting the wrong one will blow it up, she will just automatically choose the right one every time, getting lucky every single time. So she has automatic luck powers, but that's not the only thing she has. She also has advanced speed and reflexes that she learned through the program that was trying to train her to become a super soldier. She also has advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills herself, which she learned through her years of being a mercenary. And also from her years of being a mercenary, she has acquired a lot of high-grade, military-grade weaponry that she uses in her mercenary missions that she goes out on. So she's always seen packing weaponry, explosives, high-caliber guns, all those sorts of things to accomplish her mission. All the kind of things that Mr. Miracle, as a pacifist, is not liable to use. Now while her luck powers do come in handy, they're not perfect. She does get hurt a fair amount of times. And that's because her luck powers are not all-encompassing. Every single thing is not going to go her way, just some things. She'll be able to dodge some bullets, but if she doesn't move out of the way, if somebody sneaks up behind her and shoots her from behind, the gun is not going to necessarily jam every time. So her luck powers are dependent on her acting to avoid danger, but it's not 100% effective. It only tips the scales a bit in her favor. So what she brings to the fight is those probability powers, good hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and mercenary skills and high-grade weaponry. What Mr. Miracle brings to the fight is his escapology abilities, his new god physiology, which gives him a variety of superhuman physical enhancements, and the super tech that he's brought with him from Apocalypse. So having taken a look at the skills, abilities, and weaponry of these two characters, it's time now to determine who would win if they were to ever collide in one-on-one -on -one competition. That winner's going to be... Mr. Miracle. Scott Free is going to take home the win in this grudge match, the reason being because his ability to get himself out of tight spots and difficult situations is a learned ability, so it's all based on intelligence, genius level intellect, and knowing what to do in any given situation, whereas Domino's is automatic. And learned skills are always better than pure luck, because as has been seen with Domino in the past, her luck is not all-encompassing. It will eventually run out, and with somebody who is as good with getting himself out of tight spots and with defeating more powerful enemies because of his advanced intellect and his advanced physical skills, Mr. Miracle would find a way to get around Domino's luck powers at a certain point, especially when you consider his highly advanced technology that he brings into the match. With his aero discs being able to fly and advanced speed and reflexes, he would quite literally be able to fly circles around Domino, as well as his superhuman strength and his apocalypse learned hand-to-hand -hand fighting techniques would be better than what she's capable of doing. So while Domino may get lucky enough to avoid getting beaten for a while and draw out the fight, eventually Mr. Miracle's skills is going to trump her luck and he is going to take home the win in this grudge match. So message me down below, let me know what you think of the outcome of this fight, and of course, as always, any suggestions for future episodes. We'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.